Hello and welcome back to Racing 101, where today we'll be learning how to drive without traction control. Let's get started. In order to learn how to drive without traction control, we must first understand how the system works. Traction control is an assist you can use to prevent the rear wheels from spinning too much, which may cause you to lose control of the car. It constantly checks how fast the rear wheels are rotating, and if it thinks you'll slide the car, it'll cut the car's engine power, keeping you safe. The system is banned in real-world Formula 1, but in F122 it's a handy tool when you're learning how to drive. One of the downsides of traction control is that while it does a good job at keeping the car pointed straight, it can sometimes be too aggressive and cause you to be slower if you rely on it too much. Driving without it is tricky, but once you master the skill, you will have full control over how much power you get from the car, and can also rotate the car better through the corners. Setting traction control to medium allows you to slide the car a bit more, but since we're learning how to drive without it entirely, let's start looking at some techniques you can use. Driving without traction control comes down to how well you can manage the throttle while you drive. Whether you play on a controller, or use a racing wheel and pedal set, the throttle is not an on-off switch. Instead, it's a range of inputs, and knowing how much throttle to use at any time is the key to success. As you pass the apex of a corner, you'll want to get back up to full speed as quickly as possible, but doing so too early or too aggressively will cause you to spin the car. What you should do instead then, is to start by applying a small amount of throttle, and then a little more as the car straightens out. By the time your car is pointing fully straight, you should be safe to put all of the power down, though it may take you a while to get the timing right. If the car starts to slide, you can catch it and prevent a spin. You need to be quick and accurate with your reactions, but it is possible. Once the car starts sliding, gently lift off the throttle and steer in the opposite direction to where the car is pointing. You'll send more grip to the front wheels and ease the load on the rears, letting you straighten the car out. This is called counter steering. In our previous guide, we looked at how to drive with manual gears, and one of the benefits of mastering that skill will come in handy when you're trying to drive without traction control, especially in the rain. Instead of shifting up a gear when your display is fully lit up, you instead shift up very early, long before the display tells you to. This technique lets you put the power down more easily out of slow corners and exit them faster. For example, you might normally exit a particular corner in third gear, but only use half throttle. Shifting up to 4th or 5th may let you put down more power, or even go full throttle out of the turn, getting you back up to speed quickly. As you get more experience in driving without traction control, you'll begin to develop a feel for where you need to short shift, and can better control your car in tricky conditions. There's a few more things we can look at too, so let's finish off with some quick tips and tricks. Throttle management and short shifting will solve almost all of your problems when learning how to drive without traction control, but there's a few more things we can do to guarantee success. One setting you can play about with is the on-throttle differential while out on track. Having it set high helps push the car forward faster, but it also makes it easier to rotate the car. If you're struggling to keep the car under control, try lowering this as you drive. Going closer to 50% will keep the car under control, but may introduce understeer at high speed, so you may need to adjust it multiple times per lap. Another thing we can try out is the throttle linearity setting. You can find this in the controller and wheel settings. Open the calibration section and set throttle linearity to 50. This changes how the throttle behaves at various input percentages, and can help take the edge off your throttle delivery out of corners. Finally, it's a good idea to be careful when running over curbs. As the surface under your car isn't fully flat, you may not have as much grip as you think, and going full throttle on a curb might unsettle the car and cause it to spin. With what we've learned today, you should now have a better understanding of how to drive without traction control. For more F122 tips, check out the guides linked below, and good luck in your next race!